So I'm at work. It's 7.51. I'm gonna leave the car at 7.53. I just wanna drink my yogurt. Today's gonna be a busy day. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, Feeling like I'm the goat. They asking me for some pictures and I ain't even blow. I'm on my way to the top like I can't be below. They telling me that I'm crazy like I ain't even know. Hit him with a G33 and now he's seeing fun. One me, two goons. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. I said that wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are not new, if you are new, welcome to my channel. We are about to go into work and I'm about to drink my Activia um, probiotic dailies. This is what I started getting into. I'm trying to drink these twice a day, one in the morning and one in the evening. So I know I've been trying to do work vlogs, but today's supposed to be a really busy day really busy like we have 360 something patients um or 380 so today's gonna be really bu busy i'm gonna try to give you guys some insight while having other people's like working of course i'm gonna be working too but i'm gonna try to get a certain amount of sticks and then i'm gonna start showing you guys what's going on but of course i can't show you guys when there's patients around so i'll probably show you guys when it's about time to close um it's not nasty it's just thick i don't know why i was about to start shaking the water it's just thick like medicine so it feels weird going down because you're just drinking the yogurt instead of eating it so oh we gotta go to work and i didn't want to show you guys like me getting up getting ready this morning because it was just like deny him you do this every work vlog at this point we get we got your routine down packed baby okay um so i want to want to be a little bit different and i brought my camera um so yeah let's have a good day don't ask me why i put my mask on so early um but i'm about to go ahead and walk in the building i'm gonna record for my phone my watch i usually like to watch the seconds but i got so much shit in my hand oh, we're about to go down these steps Ooh, sorry. Go ahead. no i'm sorry Peach cobbler. <laughs> I'm about to get me one of them things. Ooh, blueberry. Blueberry banana bread. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, camouflage. I said, ooh, I like the color. Good morning. You tell the time. Enter password. You logged in as 7.58 a.m. Time stamp accepted. Where she put the banana bread at? One eternity later. It's lunchtime, finally. I'm starving. Welcome. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I always take the steps. Because I don't want to be bothered. That's so why I take these steps. And I didn't really bring lunch. I just got my camera in my lunch bag and yogurt. So I did order a Caesar wrap. So we're about to eat that. Hair looks hot mess. It's been busy, y'all. Like, <sighs> tired, okay? Tired ain't even the word. But I'm gonna try to show you guys the little area that I go to eat. I don't eat in the break rooms. Too many people in the break room. I go out and eat somewhere else. So I'm gonna show you guys my little area. I get through a couple doors. I just don't want to be bothered sometimes. So this is where I eat my lunch. I like to eat by myself. I don't like company. Um, so what I usually do, what I usually do on break is I will watch Hulu. So I'm about to take my camera out because I'm about to get on my phone, y'all. It's been really, really busy, and I'm over it. What's my baby? I'm gonna switch out. We literally have like 30 minutes to eat. So I accidentally brought my pen. No, I think this is the pen I left here yesterday. Anyways, we got our super wrap. Smells like a whole bunch of onions. Onions are literally falling off of it. So this is what I'm trying to do this little thing where I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So I'm trying to make different, like better eating habits. Like if I'm going to eat out, I got to eat something healthy. Like I can still eat out, but I got to eat healthy instead of fried foods, greasy. So I got me a Caesar wrap and I did put extra chicken on it because I'm starving. Um, I want to just try to eat one half and then drink my yogurt and my water. But... I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm probably going to eat the whole thing. But yeah. Man, what they put in this is dead. This, whatever this is. I don't know what that is. Maybe like a sweet pepper or something. I think it's like a sweet pepper. It's good. I'm gonna watch my show now. I am watching Chowder. That food was bomb as fuck. It was so good. Now I gotta clean up my mess. This is my pen. It's my pen.
That was so good. <coughs> My coworker, she made some blueberry banana bread, but I'm not a fan of blueberries, okay? Nope, no man. Sorry. It was nice though. It was sweet. A lot of people liked it, but I don't. I don't do. I don't do blueberries. Mm -mm. No. When she brought them apple, them like apple egg rolls things, things, y'all. I had about four, five of them up. Okay, okay. Them shits was good. I really want to get into my new career. I don't think I've told you guys. The career that I'm looking into but it's more like on the technical side than hand-to-hand -hand touching patient interaction um <clears throat> I'm honestly feeling like maybe there's a reason why it was so hard for me to go to nursing school maybe there's a reason for me not being able to finish it took me years to go to nursing school and I was finally able to and I wasn't able to go back because of my parents like I told you guys in the other vlog so, I'm starting to really look at things and think, like, maybe it wasn't for me. Maybe there's something that I'm supposed to do that I'm not doing. Maybe it's not meant for me to go to school yet. Maybe it's not meant for me to go to nursing school. Maybe it's not meant for me to be a nurse. Maybe it's something. So, I've been really ready to go back to school. I've been really ready to keep my mind busy. So I was trying to find something to do until I was able to go back to nurse school if that's something that I still wanted to do. So both of my jobs, I'm not going to say which companies, but both of my jobs partner with this. They have a partnership with this university. So I'll basically be able to go to school for free if I get tuition reimbursements from both jobs. Um, so of course this university only has online school schooling. So it's only like a certain amount of degrees that I'll be able to get. They had IT, they had cybersecurity, they had um, criminal justice, um, they had some master's degrees up there. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to go to the master route because I don't want to dedicate or try to get dedicate four years of my life when I'm not sure that's what I want to do. So I am looking into associate's degrees um, just so I can give a feel like if I don't like it okay whatever two years boom but I'm not gonna be halfway through school and then don't like it and change the whole thing and have to take totally different courses to where none of my credits will be able to transfer because it's something totally different I don't have time for that it's one thing if it's English math science but when it gets to <clears throat> um certain sciences or certain classes you can't transfer to that to a different degree if it has nothing to do like if it doesn't have the same um I guess value or meaning within the two degrees that you're trying to change to um but your basics you can always change your prereqs so I am thinking about doing um cyber security um I've done research on it I've looked at the classes I've looked up um how people feel about the field I looked up why people leave a lot of people leave nursing for IT jobs or cybersecurity jobs and I looked up why I looked up why people leave cybersecurity jobs and IT jobs um so bo both nursing and IT and cybersecurity have tend to burn out um be tired of what you're doing you want to do something else you feel overworked it's not in the third but cybersecurity and IT you would still be working with people but not as hands-on as a nurse would or as what I'm doing now yes you it will probably be a little bit more difficult because you will be trying to navigate somebody in the right direction through TV screen, not a TV screen, through a computer screen or on the phone. Um, so you still have to have that customer service, you still have to have that interaction. It's just not going to be quite as hands on depending on which company you're working with. Some people work in the office, some people work at home. It depends on which company you're working with and what equipment they give you and what they have to offer and what you have to offer. So I have looked at some of that. Um, I've looked at the classes, I've YouTubed the classes. Um, I printed out the courses, trying to do my research, see if I really wanna do it. And so far I've been more interested than bored. Um, I know hacking and coding could seem a little bit boring, but I honestly feel like I've been interested. I really have been. Um, 
I've been looking at jobs. I even had a patient that was like, oh, I work for such and such company. And whenever you're ready, just hit me up. And he gave me his email. So it's just like, I feel like I'm on the right path. I feel like I'm meant to do something else other than nursing because I keep getting thrown obstacle courses. And yes, you can get through obstacle courses, but this one I really can't beat until I turn 24. I can't go to nursing school until I turn 24. The only reason why I'm able to go to this school before I turn 24 is because I don't have to use FAFSA because my jobs, <clears throat> both of my jobs partnership with it. So I'm basically going to school for free. They're not doing that with my nursing school. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm like, I want to do something. I really do. I want to move up. I'm tired of what I'm doing now. I'm not going to say I, I love phlebotomy. I really do. But sometimes I'm just tired of patient interaction. Um, you're literally saying the same thing every day, all day to every patient, which I love my patients. I don't, patients don't make me want to quit, but I am going to say with me having hands on contact with patients every day, having the same conversations, talking about this, talking about that, dealing with ignorant patients, it makes me, when it's time for me to get off, it, I isolate myself because, hello, good, how are you? <clears throat> I isolate myself because I have so much patient interaction throughout my week, my day. When I get off, I take the stairs because I don't want nobody to talk to me. I don't take the elevators because I don't want nobody talking to me. I literally do stuff to avoid people. I don't even like walking with people on the steps. It's because I don't want to talk. I just, I just don't want to talk. I don't want to be social. I feel like it, this job is really making me antisocial because I talk all day constantly. The same thing, hands on, patients not wanting you stick the, you'd stick them because you're black or patients looking at you. Every every hairstyle or scrub outfit that I wear, somebody's looking at me funny because I'm black. Where I'm at right now, it's like constant, constant micromanagement. I'm over it. I'm over it. <clears throat> over it. To the point where people would be texting me on my breaks. I'm over that. IT, you will be micromanaged, but it won't be as much. And trust me, I've looked into depth into most of the job titles and what they do and cybersecurity and stuff like that. You're still kind of doing your own thing, but of course you're going to have a boss. But they're not over your shoulders. Like this person, they, this client that I'm working for is over me 24-7 and I'm over it. It's just tiring because it seems like nothing that you're doing is right okay my hair pull it back okay my scrubs you don't like how my scrubs feel or whatever lab coat okay so <clears throat> you're not doing this 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 so we got to do this this is it it's, it's just too much like it's really too much it's annoying so i think i'm just ready for a little career shift um and that's the only thing that i see that i can do right now is the um cyber security or it because that's the only thing that the website that offers that I would like to do or the university offers that I would like to do that they will pay for everything. There's nothing else on that website that I that would pay for. My jobs will pay for both of them. So it is 1234 and we're going to go back to work. I just want to talk to you guys about me possibly having a career change so my content will change of course i'm keeping all my old content up but it will change to something different so i'm sorry if you do not want that but possibly maybe nursing will come back to me but right now with all this patient interaction i just need a break because i'm becoming a really anti-social i feel like i'm becoming like not want to talk to people at all like just like when I'm at work, I just don't want to talk. I want to be alone. I don't go out with friends. Like, I feel like I'm becoming really antisocial because I'm so social at work with patients, talking all day, every day, five days a week. And then I go to my other job at the pharmacy and I'm talking 24 7. I'm just, I'm just tired. So, we're going to get back to work. checklist I did everything so we're about to call it a day and go home um so yeah 
there's just a lot going on. Um, I will kind of tell y'all what's been going on in the car because I'm about to clock out. Um, the station is clean. It's nice. This is what it looks like. We have these chairs. Um, and then we have our um, bio bin. Everybody gets a different chair. We also get a stool. So some people get this chair. And some people get this chair. Yeah. We also have throw bags, cotton balls, bio bags, other supplies, and go back. So we're going to my second job. Um, I'm not going to my home store because my home store doesn't have any hours for me. They don't need any help. I'm usually, I'm basically just a person that helps out they don't need me so i'm not going there i'm going somewhere else so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to record but we're gonna see how that goes i'm gonna walk to the car so i'll see y'all in the car okay love oh, y'all okay so i'm about to go work at the pharmacy job I was just, I got off at like 4.30 something. It is 4.59. I did use the bathroom and you know, sat and got myself together a little bit. Um, and then I had to call the school that I'm trying to go to to see if my jobs can actually like pay for me to go to school or if they're gonna like accept or deny me. Um, what else did I have to do? This thing is broken and I do not know why. Like, why is it doing that? But yeah. So I had to call to school, figure that out, call my jobs, figure that out. I do not know why this is not sitting up and it's gonna piss me off so fucking bad. I called my home store. They didn't need me today, so I called a different store. So I'm going over there because y'all know I move soon. So I gotta rack up these hours, rack up these videos, and do what I gotta do because it's just me. So um, I will have to be paying my first month's rent, my <laughs> deposit, which is the amount of my first month's rent. Um, I will be having to pay moving expenses. So I'm just really trying to, you know, rack up um, before that time for me to move. So that's what I was doing. That's what take me a minute. So I'm trying to, hopefully I get there by 5.30 so I can clock in about 5.40. And then it closes, the pharmacy closes at eight, which I wish they would have stayed open till 10, but this one that I'm going to closes at eight, which is why I was trying to work a, a front store shift. Lately I've been working front store, sh front store shifts because they're longer. Once I get off here, I'll go to, uh, my pharmacy's job but i work their front store and the front store stay open to like 10 o'clock and the pharmacy closes at like eight so i usually try to work at the front store but i gotta get some money so whether it's five hours three hours two hours i'm gonna go get me some money so that's what i do so now i can pull off if y'all fall y'all fall i'm gonna just cut on my music because at this point it is what it is but i was basically getting my life together um i like to see look y'all falling i like to recuperate before i go right to the next job um so i get myself together for about 5 10 15 minutes and then move on to the next one so that's where we're going i'm gonna try to vlog when i get there if i can't i'm sorry um y'all seen what my pharmacy jobs are like so uh See you later because this is dangerous. Okay, we are fucking here. We are here. Um, okay, so I'm about to go ahead and go in. It is. <clears throat> oh, yogurt is stuck in my throat. Six o'clock. I'll come back to you guys at eight when I'm off. I'll try to get some footage if I can't, then I can't. Um. I want to clock in at six, so I get my two hours. I had some time to myself, took a little nap in the car, you know, regroup myself so I don't get no attitude with no customers or nothing. 
because you have to get yourself together. You can't just go right back and forth. No, something you either can get mad, walk off, walk out, cuss somebody out. No, you got to get yourself together. It's a whole process. At least I do. I have to get myself together before I go to another job, or I'm gonna have an attitude. Like I gotta eat, I gotta take a nap, something eat or take a nap. One out of two, it don't have to be both, because if it's both, then I'm staying home. <laughs> so I have to do one of those, but <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and go in here. We do not have to wear a mask. So yeah, let's get this money. Money. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a good evening. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's so hard. It's so hard just for me to want to go to school. It's so hard for me to go to school. <laughs> My baby. So hard. Just to go to school. Because I want to go to school. Because I want to get an education. It's hard. Yes, babe. I know. I need to wash your stuff this weekend. Because it's stank. It smells like dog booty. She like it when I pat her like that. What's up, girl? She got her little tree. I love you. I miss you, baby. I usually don't come back until like 10 o'clock, but I was in the pharmacy, like I said, so it took me forever. Yeah. We were behind like 21 pages, so I was basically, yes, baby. I was basically there just to work the front, just to cash people out while they filled, which don't I don't really mind. Sometimes I just like to fill in so because I, I don't want to talk to some customers sometimes. But today I was really in a good mood because I ate before I went. Like I said, before I go to my next job, I need to either eat or take a nap. Or I'm going to be cranky. So I did eat before I went. And my attitude was fine. It was good. Now I'm back home with my baby. So I guess it is kind of good that I get off around like this time. Because she my baby. My butt miss me. My baby miss me, my baby. So now we're about to wind down. Cause you're in my face, I'm talking. So now we're about to wind down. I'm about to straighten up a little bit cause it stinks in here, it smells like dog. Um, So that means Sadie needs a bath. Ugh. But I do not like giving Sadie the bath, a bath if i don't wash her blankets in bed so um like i don't know i gotta spray her stuff um and i'm gonna wipe her down with a doggy wipe just to get the scent down a little bit because i can't i don't i'm not gonna have enough i gotta be at bed at a certain time so i'm not gonna be able to wash her wash her stuff and it'd be done and it'd be dry and yeah i'm not gonna be so I'm gonna go ahead and um, wipe her down and stuff. So she don't got this. She don't stink. I think it's just her blankets that stink. She got a smell to her, but she don't smell like a dog. But Sadie don't. Sadie usually don't have no smell to her. My baby don't usually have no smell to her. You people usually come to Sadie and be like, "Oh, you don't smell like a dog," or "Oh, your breath doesn't stink." Yeah, cause I wash my baby. Okay, I take care of my fat fat. So she ain't, she ain't gonna smell like no dog. So I don't like that she got a smell, period. It don't smell like a dog, but she got a smell. It's like a, it don't stink. It's just like a, you know, it's there smell. Like, especially when she don't usually smell. Um, So, yeah. You guys, I was gonna sell my fish tank because I'm kind of sad that my axolotl died. I was really upset, actually. But I'm gonna keep it. 
um, just in case, keep it for a little while. If I don't put nothing in that tank by the time, by January, I'm just give it away. So, yeah. Um, I can't touch you the whole time, babe. I'm about to clean up. It's a hot mess in here. So, I'm about to take my stuff off, first of all. Go play. Mm. I really gotta clean up. Put some stuff up. Put stuff on the charger. Oh. Definitely gonna take my hair down. Ooh. I need my bonnet. My bonnet. Finish cleaning up. It is 8.30. I want to get done cleaning by 9.30. It's not really much. I mainly just want to get dishes out the way. dishes I want to wash and just throw some trash away so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna have my stuff charge up while I'm cleaning I need to get me a shredder that's what I need because all this mail in here is ridiculous and it takes so much just for me to rip them all like I rip all my mail by hand and I just need to get me a shredder at this point Ain't no way. I got all this junk in here. I'm just checking my content real quick. I did good. My analytics. It's going back up. All right. So. I'll be back because I know y'all tired to see me cleaning. All right. It is 9.30 exactly. I got to do some dishes um, and stuff. My eyes are starting to water. I've literally been working for 12 hours. Kind of, sort of. I had like a two-hour break because I was working 8 to 4.30. And then, was it a two-hour break? And then I didn't clock into my other job until six and got off to eat. So, yeah, me and Sadie's about to go to sleep because I'm tired. Like, I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. Um, I already washed my dishes, <sighs> took a shower and stuff. Um, I just didn't wash my face yet. I gotta wash my face. I don't wash my face and wash my body at the same time. I wash them separate because I wash my body with my um shower gloves. So yeah, I just gotta take off my eyelashes. I love my eyelashes. Y'all hate them. Y'all hate y'all really do hate them. Well, not y'all. Some people hate my eyelashes. I love them. I love them to death. These are my babies. But, oh, it's time for them to come off. Oh, this one's on tight. Oh. Mm. But yeah, we're about to go to sleep and I might vlog tomorrow. I might not because it might be the same exact thing. So I'm probably going to vlog again Friday. But I'm trying to pick up all this week, so. I'll see you guys later. Look, you want to go night night, baby? She ready to go to bed. Look. You ready to go night night? Come on, let's go. Come on. For real. Let's go. Mama go go night night. Y'all, look how nice my tank is looking. 
it is so cute it looks foggy on screen but i'm telling you it's crystal it's crystal clear and i'm so upset so upset <sighs> all right bye bye we're gonna night huh let's go She's gonna follow me. <laughs> I try not to turn the AC on in the winter. I just be real, real hot. I hope you guys could kind of get a gist of how my day went, how my day goes when I work both jobs. I literally go from one job to the next. I try to take a little break, take a little nap or whatever. So, yeah. Um, me and my bub up, but I go sleep. Say nana, baby. Night. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I think this once a week, if not more than once a week. We're coming back to back to back to back to back. <coughs> With these videos, you guys. So I hope you guys are liking it, staying in tune, or enjoying it and engaging. You can leave some comments down. I'm trying to, really trying to reply back to comments. But the only reason why I'm not is because y'all see, I literally work two jobs and then YouTube. So. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm about to catch some Z's. Y'all stay safe. Put these two threes on my feet, got me feeling like I'm the goat. I'm on my way to the top.